Another day, another scientific study comes out. Never before have we had so much data to make good decisions about our health. So today, I'm gonna share with you some quick food hacks that may assist you with longevity, so stay tuned. But beforehand, help a researcher out. Hit the subscribe button, there is no hidden charge, and smash that thumbs up button, because it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. So some handy combinations to stay healthy. Many foods are boring by themselves. However, nature hasn't completely flunked in making healthy foods taste great. There are some great combinations that when paired become healthier than standalone foods. If you know what foods to pair, you can enhance their flavor and reduce the amount of harm those foods do at the same time. Red wine and fish. If you drink a little red wine with your fish, it seems to elevate the levels of omega-3s in your body. The polyphenols, which are strong antioxidants, are contained in wine and suspected of causing this handy effect. Number two, barbecued meat and dark beer, surely a match made in heaven, right? Even though I would steer clear of barbecued meat for longevity purposes, this is worth knowing. Marinate your meat in dark beer prior to cooking and the beer will reduce the intake of polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, which can cause colorectal cancer, among many other nasty things. The darker the beer, the better. Cinnamon and sugar. Cinnamon tastes great, but it has a secret weapon in its molecular makeup. Cinnamon contains a compound that assists your body to metabolize sugar, basically lowering your blood sugar levels. So when eating something sweet, put some cinnamon onto it and help your body metabolize those sugars faster. Tomatoes and olive oil. Who would have thought that adding olive oil to your tomato soup would increase the amount of lycopene that your body can absorb? Lycopene is a great anti-cancer compound, and cooking your tomatoes increases the amount of lycopene bioavailability as well. So cook tomatoes and mix them with olive oil. Number five, long pepper. Sprinkle some long pepper on your food, and the active ingredient known as pepperini increases the bioavailability of the food. Use long pepper on your healthy soups and salads to increase nutrient absorption. Green tea and with lemon. Green tea contains catechins, which are a natural phenol and antioxidant, and adding lemon juice to your green tea enhances the absorption of these catechins and tastes great. Avocados and burgers. Interestingly, those of you that eat burgers with avocado have better circulation and less inflammation than those of you eating burgers without avocado. Avocado also contains healthy fats and tastes great. Number eight, grilled meat and rosemary. We all know rosemary tastes great, but research shows it reduces the amount of carcinogens known as heterocyclic amines, which are produced during the grilling process. So add lots of rosemary next time you are cooking red meat. Number nine, freeze your bread for a few hours, then defrost it. This will lower the bread's glycemic index and will assist your insulin with staying low. This means you absorb less calories when you eat it. This happens because of the freezing effect changes the starch molecule. If you toast the bread as well, the effect is even greater. And number 10, don't drink coffee after breakfast. Caffeine has a 12 hour quarter life, meaning that after 12 hours, one quarter of the caffeine is still in your system. So having a coffee at lunchtime is the same as having a quarter of a cup of coffee at midnight, then hoping to sleep well. Would you drink a small cup of coffee at midnight? Probably not. And do you have poor sleep? So cut the coffee out after breakfast and watch what happens. I'll link to some of the scientific papers below showing this data. And remember, if you want to learn more about health and aging, visit my online course at scienceofaging.life. Make sure you subscribe and follow me on Twitter or face the consequences. Until the next time, stay young, stay vibrant.